Hello, my name is Bob Yerkes. I'm a field service representative of the Whitmore Manufacturing Company. Who is Whitmore? Well, the company is established in 1893 as a petroleum lubricants manufacturer. Since the construction of the Panama Canal, during which Whitmore lubricants were selected to service the shovels used to dig the canal, Whitmore has focused their product development towards the mining industry, mineral processing. This equipment would include drag lines, shovels, kilns, mills, and other processing equipment. In particular, we'd like to talk about the open gear drive system. This is the most critical asset of this kind of equipment and take very special lubricants. So, let's begin the introduction. The first step in open gear lubrication is selecting the type of product that you desire to use. Different applications, meaning different machines, have different demands and use the, the products in different manners. These types of products are defined in three categories. Fluids, greases that are soap thickened, or greases, pastes that are clay thickened. Each one of these categories of products have their advantages and disadvantages, depending on the application. It's important to know Whitmore has multiple product offerings and a wide variety of viscosity grades for any climate or any type of open gear application. Once the product selection has been made, the next step is getting the product to the point of application in the right amount, in the right time, and in the right place. That process starts with transferring the product through the auto lubrication system up through and to the point of application where all the real business is getting done. So let's take a walk and go check out the gear set and the critical components being the type of metering device used and the location and application of the product up in the gear set. Here we are up at the ball mill uh, unit and what we're going to look at next of the auto lube system is the type of metering device. There's three basic types of auto lube systems. They're defined as dual line, parallel, and progressive. Each works and functions a little bit differently, but essentially the device is used to apply a specific volume of product per shot. In the case of ball mill lubrication, because the OEMs prefer the product to be applied for one or more continuous rotations of the gear, with the progressive system is the type of system most preferred. How this system works is product fed from the pump we saw downstairs is delivered through the supply line and to the metering block. This block is made up of multiple valves. Each valve is servicing a spray nozzle that ultimately is going to apply the product. The way this valve works is it continuously fires from one nozzle to the next until it gives an indication to shut off. What we use as that indication is a counter. So each time this particular valve fires, we get a count. We have a total number of counts cycled, and then we stop the auto lube system. So let's take a quick look at the system controls. Here are devices that actually control the function of the auto lube system. The first is a timer that is used to determine the cycle frequency. How often will the system turn on and generate a lube event? The second device to the right is a pump timer. That timer allows the pump a specific amount of time to satisfy the number of counts required 
during the lubrication event. The third device is a timer again used to create a post lube event air spray through the spray nozzles to ensure that they're clear and ready for the next auto lube cycle. And finally, this device is a counter. This is counting how many times the metering device has gone through a complete cycle. In this case, the metering device must complete five cycles. Once that uh, count is satisfied, the controller de-energizes the pump and the lube event is over until the next event. Again, the metering device, based on count, stroke count, determines the volume of product that's going to be applied during the lube event. In order to get the product actually onto the gear set, we have a preference to spray the product. And we can see here, mounted in the gear cover, four separate spray nozzles. Each nozzle dispenses a cone pattern. And based on the distance from the gear, the cone patterns are designed and laid out so they overlap one another, providing a complete coverage of the tooth flank surface. Another consideration as to the application of the product is, do we spray the pinion or do we spray the gear? Once more, each point of application has advantages and disadvantages. Generally speaking, the preferred point of application is onto the full gear, the main gear. We have to keep in mind that the gear is being driven by the pinion. So we want to make and apply the product to the driven flank of the pinion profile. I'm sorry, to the gear tooth profile. In this case, the gear is actually traveling upward. That means our point of load and drive is on the back side of the gear. So, the spray nozzles have been positioned such as they will spray that product to the back side of the gear, which is actually the loaded working side. While we're here, we'll go back and take a quick look at the type of product in use. Again, in this application, the customer chose to use a fluid lubricant. Of fluid lubricants, there's synthetic oils, or there's heavy fluids. Synthetic oils tend to be clear so and very fluid. So they can see the gear condition and the product drains easily from the covers, requiring little maintenance to clean the product up. Here, we're looking at the Whitmore EnviroLube XE Extreme Heavy. This is defined as a heavy fluid. Specifically, it is a combination of resin and polymer to make up a very robust, tenacious, almost asphaltic-like fluid. The advantage of this product is, while it is semi-translucent, we can see the product coverage across the tooth flanks and be able to identify if there's any deficient point of application should any one of our spray nozzles or metering devices fail. That's difficult to do with a clear lubricant. And yet, even with its dark tone, we can still see the critical condition of the gear set without having to remove the product. One last point is even though it looks very thick and heavy, this product will
continue to slump off the gears and off the covers. Just not as fast as a light oil, but it does re requires very little, if any, maintenance to come in and remove the spent over lube. So, again, open gear lubrication begins with product selection, fluid, soap, grease, clay paste. The next consideration is the type of auto lubrication. Because of the desire to apply the product for a continuous rotation of the gear, the progressive type auto lube system is the preferred choice because of its functionality. Lastly, getting the product to the right place. And we see here where that's very well represented. And finally, we want a product that's maintenance free. Thus the selection of the uh, heavy fluids. This product's going to go ahead and while providing a good heavy robust film for wear protection, it does naturally drain out of the, the system. So, we're going to wrap up and go meet a, our host and another key business partner in the process. At this point, we'd like to thank and acknowledge a couple of gentlemen who's been a big part of this process and enabling us to conduct this video today. I'd like to begin with this gentleman to my left, Bill, who is the senior engineering technician for the plant. Unfortunately, his colleague, Junior, was not able to be with us today. But thank you, gentlemen. We very much appreciate your consideration and making this possible. To my right, I'd like to acknowledge Jake from KM Specialty Systems, our Whitmore business partner for over 30 years. Jake is critically important to this process because he ensures that the product is available on time and he assists with any product questions as well as the application of the product. As KM says, Specialty Systems is a lubrication systems house with complete engineering, maintenance, and repair capabilities. Jake, thank you. We appreciate all your efforts and you're part of this process, man. We, we appreciate you guys, too. And thank you. We appreciate it. On behalf of Whitmore Manufacturing, have a good day.